So Trace off to the Philippines in a few sleeps time. Six more sleeps and I'll be in the Philippines. Woohoo! Get my teeth fixed. Can't wait. So what's the, what's the what's the main thing you're looking forward to out of the whole whole thing? Getting rid of my plate. Uh, I have a plate that holds two false teeth up here, which uh, when it's not in, there's a big gap on the on the left hand side, and I can't wait to uh, to throw that in the rubbish bin. Maybe stamp on it, you know, really give it a big crank because uh, it's creating a lot of problems. So I'm be pleased to get rid of that. Have you ever been to the Philippines? I've never been to the Philippines. Travelled through Asian countries, but not the Philippines. Um, and really looking forward to it. Heard lots about it. Very exciting. Uh, it's a bustling city, so yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And then uh, and then the beautiful sands of hopefully going to get down to Boracay with a bit of luck. So uh, it's been suggested to go down there. Trace, you're back. How was it? It was fantastic. It was a trip of a lifetime. Um, I, I got a two week break. Uh, along with uh, getting some fantastic teeth work done. So the whole process of uh, booking it and uh, getting your quote, going over there, how did, how did that all go for you? It was uh, done with extreme ease. I was very surprised with uh, how quickly it all came together once I'd made up my mind that that's what I was going to do. Um, I was able to uh, send off a couple of emails, make a few phone calls. I uh, had my trip booked, uh, my quote back, uh, and locked into going to the dentist and getting my teeth fixed. What about when you were over there? Did you feel that uh, all about Asia and Meditour and all the, all the crew on the ground, did you feel connected that you had plenty of support? Absolutely. Um, there was always a telephone number I could call 24-7 with all about Asia uh, and always felt that uh, you know at least it was was great uh, to be able to have somebody uh, available to help me in a strange country um, and uh, I was traveling with my sister um, so there was uh, two girls um, so it was really good to be able to have someone to call uh, you know when we needed some help advice on shopping or where to go and what to do it was it was really good so let's talk about that you your sister you went you're a couple of girls in Manila you'd never been to the Philippines before <clears throat> what was the retail therapy like? Oh, re oh, look, girls, if you're ever in Manila, you have to go shopping. It's just, it's fantastic. There's so many choices, so many different levels uh, from your very expensive uh, knockoff designers as well as uh, your actual designers as well as just some fantastic shopping. Shoes, jewellery, clothes, wonderful. And Absolutely wonderful. the island of Boracay, where you oh. spent a few days in between your dental visits, is that paradise or is that oh, paradise? Absolute paradise. Uh, the island was fantastic. Um, it was just a short stroll from where we stayed uh, at uh, 1MGM, which was a, a sensational resort. I'd certainly recommend that to anyone that wants a resort-style holiday in Boracay. Um, no, no lack of choice for food, uh, shopping of course, um, but it was really nice. The sunsets were wonderful, uh, sailing experience, uh, just yeah, absolutely perfect to stop and prop for a few days. A lot of people think for some reason that uh, the Philippines is not safe. You're a single woman and you had your sister with you. How safe did you feel? I actually felt safer uh, in Manila no matter what the time of night or day was uh, than I do in my own city, uh, which is uh, a bit of a shame. I certainly saw no violence. I saw uh, no alcohol fueled anything. Um, it was just everybody getting along and, and having lots of people, lots of traffic. Uh, if you're coming from Australia, mind the traffic because uh, they drive on the other side of the road and that's uh, quite dangerous when it's an eight-lane traffic and you're not sure where you're going. Uh, but certainly from a safety point of view, I felt safe and secure. Uh, all of the concierges and, and the guards on the doors uh, always made sure that we were well looked after, so certainly recommend it to anyone travelling. <laughs> 